the fear cycles and and the and the dualistic dynamics and the taproot all create judgment and punishment cycles where we feel guilt, shame, and seek redemption. And we, we feel bad about ourselves simultaneous to trying to feel good about ourselves through redemption strategies or, or making, making things right through, through efforting rather than through self-forgiveness. And the judgment cycle then yields the victim perpetrator rescuer dynamics when those, when the, uh, the controlling dynamics of judgment and punishment don't work, we turn to hatred. All of this in the social tribal process then creates distrust, mistrust, and skepticism. Uh, then we, we all record beliefs and recordings, uh, emotional recordings, interpretations of prior experiences, and those then become lenses through which we look at our future and current relationships and interactions with other people or other groups. And then there is the, um, the next layer on top of this is the illusion of knowing and knowledge uh, as if there's a knower, somebody who knows more than another or is an expert uh, rather than just what might be termed operationally applicable information. So what we know about climate change now is vastly different than what we thought we knew about climate change 20 years ago and is what we supposedly know in five years from now gonna be vastly different than what we know right now. So this imagined knowing is this, these fixed points of supposed knowing are obscurations from understanding. Because as soon as we say, I know, we're incapable of understanding anything. Understanding is a dynamic of open receptivity to what is and is thus informed by what is rather than projecting some knowingness onto life, self, other, or world. And, and does it make sense that every, again, every nation and group of people had all of those attribution characteristics and they have all of these attributes? Uh, every, every nation has an ego. Every nation has tribes. Every tribe has an ego. Every culture has an ego. And, and they are made up of a combination of masculine and feminine energies and dynamics of processing and masculine and feminine interpretive lenses. Every one of them has uh, the potential rather than learning emotionally in an unconscious way, such as tribes tend to do now, they have the potential to learn consciously, to, to emotionally learn and to do so consciously. And that conscious learning leads, yields the capacity for conscious wise discernment and the capacity for compassion, empathy, and love without condition. And, and that conscious emotional learning yields the capacity for conscious sustained new kinds of trust models to be built. And this is a completely purely emotional process. How can these trust models be built without the feminine being a key element of the process? If, if the feminine is so knowledgeable and astute in regard to emotions and relationships and trust and vulnerability and learning emotionally, how can we as a species solve for climate change, unify, understand ourselves and each other completely, love each other unconditionally and completely, and solve our problems together unless and until we recognize and admit and accept and validate and respect the loving, good, wholesomeness of feminine emotion as a core key element in the recipe for solution to climate change. <laughs>